Let's go to line number two. Ken, you're on the air. Hi, Patty. How are you this morning? I'm grand. How about you? Patty, I don't want to take up much of your time. And the first thing I want to say to you, I have listened to a, a lot of callers uh, calling you now about industrial wind development in Newfoundland. And I have to say, I commend you for giving people a voice. Okay, it's it's been it's been the conversations that I've heard on open line are actually very informative and stuff like that. And and I and you know, like there's more than Clifford Small, to his credit, he is very concerned about uh, offshore and in, industrial development happen, that might be happening in Newfoundland. I don't have to tell you about Bill C forty nine. I'm sure you all you're well informed about that. But Patty, my concern is that most people in Newfoundland aren't paying attention to this. Now, there's two sides to this debate or whatever. There's there's the positive side and the negative side, which I'm not going to get into, okay? But it's it's largely going under it, – it, it's not under people's radar. I have talked to people in the real community, okay, and they're either – 100% for it because, I mean, the wind companies are going to absolutely put out the positive side of bringing industrial wind in the wind uh, industry to Newfoundland. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous talking to you. <laughs> Take your time. You're doing but, fine. Uh, anyway, so I, I started doing some a lot of deep research in on both sides of, of the uh, of the topic, okay? Now, so I just wanted to let you know that a few of us got together and we started up a group on Facebook called Wind Concerns Newfoundland. I've also I'm also developing a wind uh, a website. Uh, I'll be more than happy to send that to you on Twitter so you can go check out the fact that I've done a fair amount of research. I'm still learning, and so our our Wind Concerns Newfoundland group. Okay, it, it's it's open for debate. I mean, whether you you're for it or oppose it, I, you. Anybody's welcome to come there and have their say, you know, provide concrete uh, information, if you will, to back your claim. If you're if you're on board with this, with this, because, uh, you know, the job pro- prospects and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that, that's I, and so I'll be more than happy to to send you the website that I'm developing right now. And I'll send that to you on Twitter. And, you know, you can decide for yourself. Uh, so. We're trying to put information out there that people can have a conversation on. But Patty, I got to tell you, it's been slow. Like this group is not moving. I mean, and one of the things that concerns me, and I mean, every media, every media outlet in Newfoundland has given this fair ball. They're just like there's lots of stuff out there that's been put out by CBC, the OCM News. And it's not getting shown to anybody because, for the most part, I figure people in Newfoundland depend on Facebook for their their news sources and stuff like that. And unfortunately, Facebook's not allowing, you know, news outlets from from Canada right now. Okay? Yeah, which is and, its uh, own contentious topic. Look, there's been a ton of wind conversation on this program, whether it be with the minister. We've had John Risley on, I think, twice. We've had people who are for the project, people who are vehemently opposed to the project. We've tried to tackle it from environmental concerns, uh, of course, because that would be the notable at the top of the list for those who are questioning it or are completely opposed to it. So if you had to put your hierarchy of concerns forward, let's start at the top. Oh, I, I don't want to get in. That, that's why I'm. I'm oh, okay, I you have can do a, whatever you like. I have a, yeah, I just want to inform you that there's some things out there, and yes, I, when I wrote the description for the group, uh, we are vehemently opposed. Okay, that doesn't mean that we don't welcome another con- another side of the conversation. Do you understand what I'm saying, Teddy? Sure. So, anyway, the website is uh, windconcernsnl.com. WindConcernsNL.com. Easy one. Yeah, and I'll be happy to send that to you on sure. Twitter if you want, and you can go, you can go check it out for yourself. And uh, I, I I think the stuff that we the blogs we have on there are are fair ball and open for conversation, right? I'll and take a look. No matter which side you I'll absolutely have a look. You know, I spend a fair amount of time after twelve o'clock in the day doing stuff like exactly that. So I'll have a look at your website this afternoon when I get a moment. 
Okay, so Patty, before I go, I, I do, I, I, I want to thank you, okay, for allowing space on your program for this. It, it, the reason why we're called Wind Concerns is because we are concerned about, you know, what, what this means for the people, the marine life and the fishery and you know, all of it, okay? What, we, we don't know what's coming yet because it's not here and, uh, and so on. So anyway, Patty, I, I, I want to say thank you for allowing space on your program for this topic, okay? And I hope more people come on board. I really do and start taking this seriously, okay? I appreciate the time this morning. Thanks for the call, Ken. Thank you, Patty. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye now. There we go. So that wind si- uh, that wind site, that website, as Ken described, is windconcernsnl.com. And, of course, for folks who are proponents and supportive of your voice is also welcome on the show. 